that we've made these initial product steps, we're ready to um, start the very first of, uh, game of the campaign. And uh, that uh, requires us to start uh, revealing cards from our uh, campaign tower that we've built over there. That's basically all of the cards that you're encountering in the campaign uh, sorted and ordered uh, out of the box. And um, that will lead us through all of the things that we need uh, to play the uh, individual games. Into the eternal darkness, into fire and into ice is what it currently says on this top uh, game card. Sounds ominous. And on the back, we can see that we're in the year uh, 1306, and we're going to be uh, fighting for dominance in the city of Florence. Hmm. Now, the next thing we do is we reveal the missions that will be available in this game. So each of these is set in a particular year. It gives us a particular scenario. They're all unique, uh, and they tell us the <coughs> kinds of attributes that we're trying to collect in our bloodline for this game in order to be the one who unlocks that uh, that content and gets to uh, participate in that story. Um, so we have the five missions for this game. The Great Famine, Marco, Divina Commedia, The Templars Burn, and Sailing the Mediterranean. So this gives us some direction right at the start of the game. And the other thing we do is Shuffle the character deck and populate the queue. So I suppose if you have already done, now I also need to set up my clan materials. Uh, that involves taking my clan leader, in this case Catherine of uh, the Toreador, placing it at the top of what is going to be my bloodline. Um, taking uh, three boon tokens, a clan marker and a clan morality marker and placing them in the right spaces. And finally, um, take the clan scheme cards of the Toreador, uh, not shuffle them actually, but take the three starting cards that Catherine um, supplies. So each clan leader has the, the background and the attributes of, of any other character, so they, they, which interacts with the battlegrounds, but they also have three uh, clan schemes that they have a kind of affinity with, and rather than starting with random schemes from your from your clan, you're going to start <coughs> with these ones. So as you unlock other clan leaders, you'll, you have the potential to start the game with other, uh, with other clan schemes. Uh, the last thing we need is power. So there you go. Uh, three starting power is what every um, clan leader starts the game with. So uh, we'll not go into a lot of the details of the rules of the game, but uh, we'll just uh, start right away uh, with the first turn. Uh, and for me, the starting player, as shown by our cool starting marker, uh, that means that I first got to uh, recruit a character from uh, the central queue, and then I may play a clan scheme. The Simonist Priest as a child of Catherine, and that means I'm giving one point to the high clans. I'm moving up on the beast within Battleground, and I... I'm going to claim France for the Cour d'Amour. Now will you play a scheme? No. No scheme. No, I'm, I'm keeping, my it, keeping my options here. And my first action will be to uh, recruit the merchant. Mm. She's also a high clan. We always refresh the queue. She is a high clan. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, oh, there is the Hum Knight, my Toreador, Lieutenant. Uh, different morality, so that's not so great, but uh, she is from the south, so I'll move this prince. Now, what I'm going to do is, I will indeed do nothing, it's only my turn. Mm -hmm. So, I'll um, embrace, of course, um, the Barbarian. Mmm, your old mm. favorite from yeah, the last office campaign. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 wow. I have it. I wear it. <clears throat> really. 
So I'll go up here. Mm -hmm. And then one point for the high mm -hmm. class. And then Multicolor. I get to choose which one. And I think I like brown, so I'll push the brown. And I will actually play a scheme. Oh I damn it. Will... No. Yes. No. Not that. Not that. I, <laughs> <laughs> I will activate my clan leader with the barbarian. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I will play Uncover Secrets. Oh. So I get to assign one infamy to any two vampires. You couldn't have found any secrets in Catherine's. There's two uh, right there. <laughs> and right. I like to be fair, so. One and oh, one. Wow. So we're going to kill him, right? Absolutely. And that's the my turn. I always love killing and the Nostra too. It's my turn again. That's right. At the end of the round, we check who is ahead on this track, and they get to be the first time in the round. I will embrace the Lord Keeper. the sound of the game. Mm. Oh, so I will still the hard knight is there. Yeah. It's green and white. Mm. So and I end my turn. I'm going to go ahead uh, and recruit. Oh, this is not easy um, because the Harden Knight is there, and quite obviously he's my trusted um, Toriador companion. But problem being that he's green. He's absolutely not uh, fitting the yeah. rest of my bloodline's properties. So if I recruit him now, I'm going to be in big trouble. But you can activate the Sire, so at least it'll help the others. No, here. it'll be super horrible because I'll activate him, uh, go down, and then I'll activate the Sire and oh, go and down the, On the morality. He's so very, yeah, uh, he's, he's very much not fitting my clan uh, morality. Uh, so instead I'm going to go ahead and recruit the Lady of the Beggars. And I'm planning uh, to, uh, first of all, she fits much better with my goal of making the high clans win this struggle. Um, I'm moving down on this track because she's also not um, uh, fitting my clan morality, but that means I get a clan scheme. And finally, I may add one power uh, to the Western princes in the War of the Princes down here. I'm going to play a scheme, and the Simonist priest is going to um, mm. going to dispatch of, our, of my old friend the Hardened Knight. What? Actually. Wow, that's that brutal as vampire politics. Um, yeah. Because while I can't have him in my bloodline, I also don't want any of you guys um, having access to this powerful Toreador. So I remove him from the equation. Now, since this is a, a Toreador um, card with a special ability called Invitation, I have the chance to invite one of my fellow vampire masterminds uh, to join me. Um, Ash is trying to trick me into choosing him, so I'm, and then he'll decline. So I'm going to choose Francisco. Uh, do you also want to discount one from the queue? Do you want to join me in this little uh, romp? Nope. Damn it. <laughs> All right, it was worth a try. I was going to say yes. Really? Uh, no, course, you, yes. you've done that before, though, no, and then you've said no. 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 Oh, really? OK. I will recruit the diplomats who is quite a nice guy. Uh, to do that, I have to pay one power, unfortunately, because of his niceness, or rather his position in the queue. Uh, now, he's, he supports high clans. He's uh, pretty contemplative, like me, which is nice. And he's from the north, which is not so great, but that's okay. And now I will play a scheme. I'm gonna proclaim superiority. Mm. Now this, we've just seen the, the previous special ability, the Invitation. This is the Ventures, which is an Edict. So I exhaust my clan leader, I meet the background, and I'm going to choose the High Clans, the Red. So whenever somebody recruits a Red Vampire, I get to unexhaust. 
any exhausted red vampire. Wow. Uh, Hate the Ventrue, gotta say. Uh, Not me. No. Uh, so, that's the end of the round. Let's just go next. The mate. Mm-hmm. By the barbarian. Mm-hmm. So I go up again, then green, mm-hmm. and brown. Mm-hmm. Go brown. Okay, so I play, uh, apply pressure. Mm-hmm. So I have two uh, backgrounds that cover this. I have the warlike and the any. Mm-hmm. So I need a scholar and I'll put one boom. I'll help. I'll help. Into one of your scholars. Who's so going to help the merchant or the diplomat? The. Um, Should be the merchant. The merchant. Yeah. So the merchant is helping to apply pressure, but who's the target of your uh, Ooh, we've dirty, dirty blackmailing? Oh, Me? Seriously? Yes. Seriously? What the hell? So oh, right. I activate her. Mm-hmm. So that means oh, I nice. will go down actually, but I will draw one plant skin. Mm-hmm. And blue. what are you going to do here with the blue? Oh, interesting. All right. And I will exhaust her. And she's exhausted, which is the mm. really savage thing. This is um, this is all going well. I believe. This is not nice, but and not also not unexpected. It's your turn. It's my turn. The vizier, and the vizier is going to be embra- embraced by the lady of the beggars. <coughs> And that's one point for green. Uh, that's moving down on the morality board, unfortunately. Don't flip it. Sorry. And um, now uh, I'm going to do the yeah. same thing that you did, which mm. is like not help the southern princes at all. Uh, and then I'm going to. Um, play another scheme and I'm going to also require the services of a scholar. Uh, I, I have two. Yeah, I know. I know. Ah, uh, danke. I, uh, require... So what's the merchant doing? The merchant is going to uh, join the vizier in mingling with the mortals and um, ah. Uh, what that means is I may reserve a character and uh, draw a clan scheme. And I'm going to reserve the regent and I'm going to draw a clan scheme and then I'm going to invite um, you, Francisco. Uh, (laughs) Thank you. um, And uh, you can join me uh, and uh, you'll not you. you'll not lose anything, um, but you get to reserve a character and draw a clan skin. So Francisco says yes. For free. Well, if he says yes, the Toreador are going to gain two power from doing that. But not his power. So. Yeah. But no, I'm fine. Oh, what the hell, Francisco! <laughs> what the hell? That was a really good offer. I <laughs> don't need it. Yeah. All exactly. right. Mm-hmm. The next step is uh, I need to recruit somebody, and I will take uh, I'll take the concubine. Um, she will go with the diplomat. The diplomat will embrace her. She's she supports the high clans. Uh, she's pretty tempestuous, so I draw a clan scheme. Uh, oops, oops, innocent mistake. Mm-hmm. And solid vampires are supported. Now, because I recruited a concubine, uh, a red uh, high clan vampire, I get to unexhaust a red vampire, which is nice for my clan leader. And then I will play... The concubine is going to condemn Francisco. What? Yeah, she's condemning you. Mm. I condemn me. Yeah, because you're so uncooperative. I like that. You discard a clan scheme. Mm. One. Mm. One. Consider yourself condemned. Easy. So he gets to choose one? No, oh, I was going to use that later. So the Nosferatu is scrapping the black markets. He's mm. playing, this is like the this is like the aggressive side of the Nosferatu. So that's that's the round over. It's next player's turn, which is uh, the Nosferatu again. Mm-hmm. I'll pay you one mm-hmm. to embrace uh, 
the burgomaster's uh, wife, burgomaster's wife, uh, embraced by the maid. So it's I'll go back here. Um, green. Mm -hmm. I and think blue. this time your uh, proclamation of super superiority might backfire in that you'll recruit reds and both of us will be forcing green. Maybe. Maybe. And I'll... You still don't have much green. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm working on it. Yeah, sure. Uh, and as a uh, way, hidden stash. <coughs> uh -huh. Ooh, the first black market. Mm -hmm. Draw a clan scheme? Forget it. So the way that the black market works is this is the Nosferatu's uh, special mechanic, and they're kind of useful people to know, and the, the, the black market joins the table face up and remains there for the rest of the game. Now, in a round, any, any player, including Nosferatu, can activate this ability, which in this case is draw a clan scheme, pretty good, by putting their boon on, on that black market, on the space there. At the end of the round, any boons that are on there will go back to the Nosferatu. So I can, I can do it myself? You can do it yourself, Absolutely. but that will prevent us from using it and from being able to pay you boons. Mm. That's the catch. It's about how greedy you want, or what kind of greedy you want to be. Yep. Yep. <laughs> no one wants to be greedy. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah. it's a kind of greedy, right? Kind of greedy. Yeah. And the first thing I'll do is I'll remove my clan marker from the regent. Um, and then, in fact, I'm going to embrace her. Um, and I think it's going to be the lady of the beggars embracing her. So uh, that means one more point for the uh, low clans, which is unfortunate, but can't be helped. Um, moving up here, and then I'm going to Ooh, like this move. Power move to the western, the western court. Yeah, I'm claiming the central castle here for the western court. Yeah. So uh, that's a, it's a bit of a power move, I feel. And then the next thing I'll do is I'll um, hand out two boons. Ooh. And I'm going to require the services of the maid. Mm -hmm. And I'm the going diplomat. to the merchant. Um, require the services of the diplomat, yes. Uh, nice. And, uh, I'm sure this will be good. <laughs> and we'll play. Oh, uh, wait, I know exactly what they said. <laughs> uh, we'll play Card of, no, no, we'll play Card of the Artist, actually. Uh, oh, okay. Which is um, going to be the regent alone doing it. It uh, makes me reserve another character, which is going to be the poisoner, I think. Uh, yeah, the poisoner. You can also reserve like aggressively, right? You could stop me getting the, the high clan and force me to pay, but... No, I'm, I, I want the poisoner. And uh, the thing is, I activate them. Which means another point for the green, uh, for the low clans, and another movement for uh, the Western princes. And whew, because this is my chosen artist, the poisoner, an artist of death and chemistry, they gain three power. And whoever recruits them, which likely will be me, considering that I've claimed them for Clan Toriador, uh, gains these three power as well. I was into the poisoner before you were. Oh, damn it, yeah, it's yeah, on your shot. Why has everyone like got the, 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 the right shot and not me? Uh, you should have told me, guys. So in this case, um, I will recruit the companion, mm -hmm. the warrior from the east. The Harvestad himself will embrace him. Mm -hmm. We'll refresh the queue. I trust Francisco will take care of, uh, take care of our troublesome poisoner. Uh, so he is. Uh, he supports the high clans. Good man. Uh, he's a pretty active kind of guy, as you'd expect. And he's from the east, so I will do that. And now I need to get rid of these Toriador boons because they are typically not great to have. So what I will do is I will play a clan scheme called Patronage. Which means uh, the merchant, uh, with the assistance of the the maid, uh, and I get to reserve the character, 
I will reserve the pretender and then activate them. So I help the high clans. I move up in the world here and I get to move any cube I like to that. Mm. And that is my turn. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, it's the end of the round, so this returns to me. That's mm-hmm. right, yep. Whoop. You draw another clan scheme. Why don't you let us draw the clan scheme, so? Um, I'll embrace the um, faithless priest. Alrighty then. So, it's a low clan. It's a go up. Yep. And black. So I'll move the black, and because now it's <laughs> majority, they are out. Ooh. Yeah, I hate to see that. Yeah, I hate to see that. Mm-hmm. I'm supporting the Western princes in this. You should have stuck with your northern, mm, northern guys. With the northern strategy? Right. Um, Any clan schemes from the Nosferatu? Um, so I'll use this scheme called Savage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Burgomaster's wife. Burgomaster's wife is going to savage someone. And. and really? Then, wow. yeah, really? You realize that he's like way ahead in this no. game. Oh my I god. Francisco is like breaking the game again. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. So I steal two and I gain one hit. All right. So she beat up Catherine. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I like it. Okay. And now it's your turn. Okay. Okay. That's fine with me. I I can do this on my own. Uh, so I'm taking the poisoner uh, to my bloodline and um, helping the green, uh, the low clans. And uh, this is good for my clan morality. And I'll go ahead and uh, try and make this work anyway, I think, uh, for my dear Western Princess. Um, do a little bit insider trading. Uh, not really that, but... Um, Ooh, interesting. The Lady of the Beggars, with the help of the Vizier and the Regent, is going to uh, run a little clandestine record, amassing power for all of my clandestine characters. Wow, which is a whole bunch. Which I usually wouldn't do it at this point in the game because it like paints a big target on my back. Sure does. Despite the fact that it's still Ash who's in the lead here yeah, with, the, no. with the Ventru um, proclaiming their superiority all the time. Um, right, and it's an invitation. And it's an invitation and because I truly believe (laughs) that Ash is the danger here. I'm going to invite you, Francisco. And if you seriously don't take three (laughs) power uh, for yourself Uh, while giving me two power, then I think we've established something about you. This is insider trading. This is what this is. I'm feeling it right now. Next time, it's going to be you. Mm. Next time, it's 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 going to be okay, you. But I, I'm the merciful, you know. I just have mercy with this poor soul yeah, I over accept. there. You accept. Yeah. Finally, all right. Um, so this goes to my clan leader. The power Ooh. from the from the from the invitation is that right? Nope. It goes to the guy. It should to go the lady. to the person who did it. Yep. To the lady who did it. All right. So the lady of the beggars is now also. Wow. Pretty powerful, as is the Poisoner. Um, I'm not sure if this is... Well, well, well. well. Um, And then it's your turn. In this case, I will uh, recruit the Pretender. Mm -hmm. Seems like a trustworthy guy. I got no issues with him. (laughs) Um, He spots the High Clans and my morality. And I can move any prince I want, which will be, of course... The Western. Of course. <laughs> Money bags would be here. Yeah. Money bags. Power bags. Power even. bags. Power yeah. bags. Yeah. Sounds uh, weird. Sounds like a, something from the 80s. Right. Um, and now, so I unexhaust the merchant, and the pretender is going to answer. If somebody recruited red, you know, you could get in on this action. But mm. um, the. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, I'm going to, uh, the pretender is going to answer Judy, which means uh, 
he is exhausted and I'm going to activate any exhausted vampire on your bloodline. I'm going to activate the pretender, mm -hmm. which means he supports the high clans, moves up, the morality, and he weakens the position of the western <laughs> vampires. <laughs> You know, I mean, you don't make it easy for me to invite you to the next uh, Toria Dog gig. Uh, yeah, you must. Uh, you must, because you know that Francisco is a bigger threat than me. Now he might be. Now yeah. that he's enjoyed the mercy of the Toria Dog. <laughs> uh, so, the round is over. Uh, the Nosferatu, uh, see the ill gotten boon. Yeah. Ooh, which I forgot to spend. Oh. And I do it again. Mm. Do it again, yeah. So he's monopolizing his own marketplace. Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. We have to stop giving him <laughs> good. Yeah, I don't know even. I don't even know if it's that good. Like, uh, yeah, look at that. He's not happy with the with the clan yeah. scheme. That's what happens to greed. Yeah, absolutely. It's not. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, no clan. I change, so I have to re. Yep. Shuffle. You shuffle your mm -hmm. discard pile. Mm -hmm. Seems you're drawing so many. So I draw. And then you move a blue. So you can move one here, for instance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Okay. All right. Good party. And I end my turn. So, let's play some. Next player's turn. And now the question is, are the Toreador willing to pay three power to recruit the artist? I think what they will instead do is recruit the execute. Oh, wait a second. Mm. Mm. There's trouble, right? No, there's trouble. All right, okay, you're right. I, I also, I whoa, also whoa, believe whoa. in the power of the, of the high clans because obviously we are too. Oh, and what is this? The leopard knight is Interesting. there. Interesting. A powerful Ventru vampire. That's annoying. <coughs> That's quite annoying. But he supports the low clans. Well, for the moment, um, just limit myself to um, a little scheme and the poisoner and the executioner are going to instigate a little falling out between... Uh, <laughs> Imagining like a high society kind of like... Uh, exactly. Like gossip. <laughs> so... <laughs> With the poisoner and the executioner. What this means is that uh, each vampire with a Toriador boon gains one uh, infamy and that's just one for each of you but yeah so unfortunately so the diplomat had a falling uh, out with the uh, the poisoner but no the, uh, oh yeah the diplomat had a falling out with the poisoner and the executioner had a falling out with the maid <laughs> that's how we're going to yeah. they were such good friends yeah, too. Such good friends, the executioner yeah. and the maid like a, there was like a little mini crime. series about them i think yeah, yeah. about crime in costumes so, uh, with that, with the executions uh, embraced, I will unexhaust the pretender. Did I do these things? Because no. I think I need to move down, move up here, yes. and then do this, uh, and gain my final plan scheme here. Uh, Hanestad is going to lead the counter rebellion. Mm. Go time. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll exhaust Hanestad. Oops, I already have these tokens. I will exhaust Hanestad and activate this public scheme. Mm -hmm. So Hanestad gains some infamy for his uh, meddling in politics, but mm -hmm. we're going to activate every coterie member on this back this battleground. So that's one, two, three, four, red. So Hanestad, the uh, the merchant, the diplomat, and the companion are going to uh, f complete the decisive victory for the high clans. That's right. Uh, so which we've, means we've gone to the top of the track in one direction, which means that the belt of power resets to the middle, and then I activated the last time. But when we do that, every uh, winning vampire, which is of course the high clans, is going to gain one power. Mm. Uh, I will embrace the chieftain. Uh, he of course supports the high clans. Uh, doesn't really gel with my morality, and he's from the north. Mm -hmm. The north is gaining slowly but surely. So who's well, uh, this one? Yeah. We don't know yet. We don't, we don't know, know yet what will happen. Uh, that's my turn. I've already played a scheme, uh, and I've just recruited. So it's next place turn. 
And we have uh, three rounds left. I'll use the boon again. <laughs> mm, you could have like all my boons if you just left that open, but oh well. You have no boons left to give. This is uh, um... just wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't don't get too cheeky. All right. So it's green. I go down. And I drag him. And um, black. Um, yeah, I'll use the hack mm -hmm. to uncover secrets. <laughs> mm -hmm, I can. So um, I need a boom, and I will use your cursed boom. <laughs> Nobody wants to sneaky. Mm -hmm. right. And I will assign to infamy. Uh, I think Francisco realizes that I'm not the bigger threat here at this point. Uh, so much power, so much power bags over uh, here, and I've got I've got full infamy. You know? We can do this thing again and again where you where you just uh, win all the battlegrounds. So, right. I think that's pretty pretty dangerous. And um, um, it's your turn. It's my turn. Oh, that's so nice. I will uh, recruit the artist for purely um, thematic reasons. And she's going to be embraced by the poisoner, the second child of the poisoner, um, which means that we've equalized this one. And I was here, so I'm moving here. Um, and uh, finally, I can make any move here. So I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to have uh, the artist do the guiding voice, which means I can reserve a character. Um, and uh, the real part is, Ash, it makes no sense for me to ask you to reserve anything. So I'm going to ask Francisco, do you want to reserve a character? Nope. I will. I will reserve a character, and it's going to be midwife. Intriguing. So it's my turn. I will embrace. Uh, ooh, I will carry out a scheme. So uh, Hashtag is going to explore the ways of the beast, and to do that, I need a. Uh, I need a wealthy. I need some money. Who's wealthy? Who's uh, the, the regent. The regent is happy to help. Bogomeister's wife. Ah, but it's a curse. Yeah. It is a curse torrent open. That's Ugh. right. Yeah, that was the catch. Um, and that means I get to uh, increase morality, clan morality two spaces. As people were going to give me the first one anyway, I might as well run with it. Um, and now I will embrace the emissary. Mm hmm. And the companion will do that, which means I resource Hadestad. I support the high clans. Uh, I draw a clan scheme. And I will support the seven vampires. Round is over. Let's see who's winning this track, which is the venture, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll go first, which means. Um, your reservation was well placed. It's there for, for a long time now. Mm -hmm. um, Were you going to get the midwife though? Nope. But still, well placed. Yeah. She is spoken for. Um, for now, let's uh, embrace the, the widow. Uh, yeah, the widow. I'll pay one pound for that. Uh, she will be embraced by the merchant. She supports the high clans. Morality flips me back. Oh, that's nice. And I will weaken the position of the Western vampires. Um, now, because I recruited a red and nobody's exhausted, I have to exhaust. 
a red vampire. Hmm. Oh, but who is the bigger threat? And I think it's Simon. I'll unexhaust your uh, clan leader. Oh, come on. And the clan leader too? Yeah. Like, not like... Oh, man. No, because, because he's... Uh, you could have, uh, like, unexhausted the useless guy in my... In, my, in fact, uh, he's the only one I can unexhaust. No, he yeah, can. Like, mine, mine here is a... Oh, come on, guys. All right. <laughs> No, I have mercy with you. It's fine. <laughs> you can, you can uh, collaborate. I don't mind that. It's fine. Um, and now, Hadashta is going to participate in some palace intrigue. Wow. Uh, don't you need uh, other guys, though? You need to use no, I'll two, need two, two boons. Boons uh, I'll, send, I'll send the diplomat. The diplomat's better at this. He mm -hmm. has the necessary companions. So, uh, he's going to get one in for me. Can I have an in for me? Mm -hmm. And I've got a medal in the affairs of Europe, mm -hmm. which never goes badly. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, move these two cubes. Mm -hmm. And then these two. What does this mean? What's the, what's the plan here? Yeah, right now it's a tie. It's a mystery uh, play, that's uh, right. Triple tie. And that is what I've done with my turn. Mm, you should be ashamed. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll use the boon again yep. to draw. I don't get it. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And so I have to embrace someone. I'll pay one mm -hmm. to embrace the hashash and the hashash. Mm -hmm. So it's green. I go here and white. Yeah, I'm going to use the hashashin mm -hmm. and oh, win them play an additional skin. So I will use one boon to play okay. an additional skin. So mm -hmm. I'm going to use the faithless priest and I'm going to give one boon, boon. boon. to a uh, money man. Money man, I got the pretender. Regent, how about the regent? How about like just once in a game doing something well, that's not hurting so me? So I activate three oh. uh, greens. One, yeah. Two, three. Wow, Ooh. wow, wow. I like it. So there's a coup. And I like it. Damn. I think we can win this for the local lands if you help me for a change. Mm -hmm. mm. Your turn. It's my turn, absolutely. And uh, I will uh, recruit uh, the, the Leper Knight. Mm. So I have to remove this reservation marker. So I'll recruit the Leper Knight, and that will be one more green um, moving ahead here and then one blue and um, I got this like ventral loser in my bloodline now but whatever um, the next thing I need is like one of your boons so what are you doing like I'm calling in a favor mm. with the Nosferatu and I'm taking one of your boons Wow. Uh, so that's discarded. That's discarded. And now it's the new round, the last round, and I'm first in this last round, and that's the shittiest thing, uh, because whoever is last in this round um, has a lot of influence on these battlegrounds. So, uh, in fact, what I'm going to do, the midwife, And, uh, and so what are you doing what I'm doing is uh, this one rebellion and counter rebellion and uh, I'm going to go ahead and move two in this direction and then it resets right and, yeah and yeah, uh, one red and then I move one red I like this and uh, so what this does is all green characters in the game Game one. Ooh, there. Yeah, this is not gonna end well for me. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know, but it's your turn now. So, um, 
I can do pretty well on this battleground, so I'll, I'll do this. I will, um, let's just see what happens. I will recruit the Shield Maiden, mm -hmm. who helps the Northern, uh, sorry, the, the High Clans. Mm -hmm. She has a similar morality to me, which is nice. And mm -hmm. uh, she is from the North, mm -hmm. which I will use to do that. Mm -hmm. And now what I will do is I will... Oh, North is bad. <laughs> North is bad. I will sure. use. Mm -hmm. uh oh, I'll use the diplomat and then use the diplomat to carry out some more palace intrigue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the diplomat did stuff before, right? So, so what I will do is help the Western princess. No, 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 no. Big time, <laughs> big time, not that. Massively not that. It's hard to underestimate. <laughs> Overestimate that. So this multi, the pretender is going to move the northern princess out of the central keep, and he will strengthen the position of the uh, the southern vampires, the northern vampires, and again like all of the vampires except the western and princess. the eastern, <laughs> north and south. And that is my game. That's my final final turn. So it's up to Francisco to mess with me. Mm -hmm. ah, 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 Let's see. Ah, ah. Let's see. So I embrace this guy. This guy. Mm -hmm. this guy. And this go back to me. Mm -hmm. uh, so he's green. Oh, I could have used those. That I that go up. Mm -hmm. And ah, white. Uh, but, well, I mean, I got stacked because he placed it on me. So, so I'll, I'll activate that. that. Which one? The Rebellion Count or Rebellion? With whom? With this. Uh, bum, bum. So With that's the, four. Mm, three. Oh yeah, that's four. Oh yeah, yeah that's a big coloring. Uh -huh. So I think I, I think I won. I think, I I think you good. won? I have a lot of green too, my friend. So we'll I see. have eight. Mm, I have a, I have a few, two, four, six. <laughs> so is that, is that the end of your uh, mischief? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm done. See, you're done? All right. Wow. What? So, uh, Francisco, uh, sorry, um, uh, Matthias, the reborn, uh, has um, swung the balance yeah. of, of the high and low clans, yeah, and that definitely. was his final move. Yeah. And now I think we need to calculate the scores here. Um, so there you go. It's the way we score is we look at each battleground in turn. We look at the outcome of the battleground, and then we score according to the bloodline that we've assembled. So in this case, the clans high and low. The uh, the center of, uh, of the balance of power is towards the low clans, which means every green vampire, every low clan vampire is going to score two points. I have zero, so this is like Whoa. devastating for me. I have sixteen. 16 points. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, can you turn on that? Thank you. I have uh, two, four, six green vampires. Yeah. So that means that is 12 points for me. Yeah, this is just dire for me. Uh, this is horrible. I backed it yeah, Absolutely horse. horrible for you. Um, you uh, also lose a point in this one. So maybe yeah. we just remove a power yeah. uh, to signify that. Uh, so this is the claim morality, and you score according to the position that you ended up at. Right, uh, and both of us are at zero, so nothing changes about our mm -hmm. score. <coughs> Finally, this battleground uh, gives two points for each of the uh, winning colors. Yep. In this case, it's two winning colors, uh, black and uh, white. And there's one point always for each multicolor that you've collected. So, so this is eight. going to be one, two, three, four, five. Uh, six points for me. One, two, three, four, five, six. And how about you? Fifteen points. Oh wow, that's a little bit of a comeback here, but I a think. Bit, but it's it's pretty bad. Yeah. Um, now we score for power, infamy, and boons. So power is worth one point. Infamy is worth minus one point. So you can sort of set them aside together. And then the boons that you've collected, whether from your own or from other players, are worth one point as well. All right, that's six points for me. Uh, putting on 21. That's 23 points for 20. me. So that's going 20. to be... Uh, <laughs> that is an actual outrage. <laughs> with all the your, for with your, the boons, yeah, with right. the boons. Uh, for all your protesting <laughs> over let's wait and see. Let's wait and see how this uh, uh, ends. Uh, 
Eleven and thirteen. Woo! No, it's it's a, it's a tie. No, no, yeah. it's yes. No, it's it, he's winning by one point. He was here twenty-seven, so it's thirteen. Uh, oh, but eleven and two. Oh yeah, so it's a tie. It's a tie. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's how does this happen? Wow. In the game? <laughs> um, all right. Do I have any? Did I miss any? <laughs> uh, Maybe under your other power. Yeah, power. it's like uh, no. So yeah. our final score is in last place the uh, the venture who they backed the wrong political horse, and I think my edict rubbed people the wrong way. They they started recruiting. The other yeah. Way. Um, and that means that the Nosferatu and the Torador have tied on forty points. Uh, all right, guys. We literally had to look this up in the rulebook because it's so rare. What happens uh, when two uh, players are tied on the score? Is and it that the last player wins? Mm, we looked it up though, so it's not that. Ah. Um, in fact, we'll go uh, in turn order because uh, the last player has an advantage in the game, and so uh, since the Toreador managed to achieve uh, forty points from the disadvantaged position of the first player in the last round. The they win. are going to take the win, and you know what that means? No. I win. Nice. Thank you. Nice. It was a good game, though, Francisco. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the stakes get high with the campaign. The stakes get high. All right. Yeah, that's the point, though. The game is not over yet nope. because we have a whole bunch of campaign stuff to go through.